Myanmar ethnic armed group Chin National Front have declared that it is planning to consolidate control on the India-Myanmar frontier. Now, this following the successful takeover of two military camps along the border of India's Mizoram state. Now, the assault has widened to two fronts in Myanmar's Rakhine and Chin states after a coordinated offensive was launched in late October. In what is seen as the biggest test to the military government since it took power in 2021. Dozens of Myanmar soldiers have surrendered to Indian police in Mizoram. Human rights organizations believe some of these soldiers may have been involved in atrocities against civilians. As per order from MH, we hand them over to border guarding force, that is a samurai food. And the government of India will decide on their fate. The unfolding violence has sent thousands of Myanmar residents fleeing to India. Mizoram officials say more than 5,000 people have sought refuge in two border villages. A curfew has been imposed in the Myanmar western city of Sitwe in Rakhine State. Residents have been ordered to stay home after 9 p.m. local time, while businesses must be closed by 8.30 p.m. Soldiers have been deployed after the town came under artillery fire overnight. Ania Punia joins us live from New Delhi with more on this situation. Nia, uh, Myanmar soldiers have surrendered while thousands of refugees are crossing over into Mizoram. How's the state handling that situation? Well, Chil, this is not a new situation as far as Mizoram is concerned. It's a state that shares about a 500-kilometer-long, mostly porous border with Myanmar. And we've seen this happen in the several years uh, since that uh, coup took place. But in the latest instance, uh, we're being told that about 40 soldiers belonging to the military government in Myanmar uh, entered the Indian state of Mizoram in India's northeast. Some, like you said, surrendered to the the police officials in the state, but others, the police uh, in Mizoram saying, were found seeking shelters um, in makeshift places near the border. The uh, local government says that they've now uh, been uh, taken into custody. Some of them had injuries on them. It's unclear if they were armed, but uh, most of them have been handed over to a central government agency, the Assam Rifles, that guards the India-Myanmar border. And the Mizoram government is making it clear that uh, what happens to them next, whether or not they'll be repatriated or kept in detention centers or at uh, uh, local jails, will be a decision taken by India's Home Ministry that over these national security concerns. Um, like you said, it's not just um, soldiers. We've seen about 5,000 uh, 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 civilians who've crossed over into Mizoram as well. Many of them have sought refuge. Some have sustained injuries and are being treated and cared for by locals. And, uh, you know, um, Mizoram and um, the neighboring regions of Myanmar have long-standing cultural relationships and uh, it is a situation that the people of Mizoram view uh, with a lot of sympathy and empathy and um, even in the past when the government had said that civilians who've entered into Indian territory should be pushed back into Myanmar, locals had resisted. So for now the state says it's caring for those who've crossed over uh, onto Indian soil. Mm. And would India also be preparing for ethnic fighters who say they mean to take control of the India-Myanmar border? Um, that's certainly a concern. Um, what we're given to understand right now is that the border is uh, tense but quiet uh, with the latest round of fighting having, having wrapped up on Monday. But the local um, uh, officials in Mizoram say they're worried that uh, there could uh, be airstrikes which the military government in Myanmar could consider. We've seen this in the past um, whenever there have been instances of fighting with uh, rebel armed ethnic groups and uh, that is something that is worrying local officials on the ground. Um, as far as the India-Myanmar border is concerned, it's about 1,600 kilometers long. It's uh, shared by four Indian states in the northeast, including the region of Manipur, which has seen ethnic clashes for several months now. There's a huge security deployment there. Um, and of course, the worry for the Indian government is that... Um, 
whatever is happening in Myanmar should not spill over into the northeastern states that have a history of being restive, uh, particularly with the situation being so fragile in the state of Manipur. Um, and that's also a region that's guarded by the Assam rifle. So it's going to be another front that opens up for the mm. Indian mm. government and military establishment to make sure that uh, things stay calm along that border. Appreciate that update as always. Thanks, uh, Nia Punia reporting live there from New Delhi.